Hello students, today in this video we are going to start a new lesson, the making of a scientist of our supplementary reader footprints without feet. This is chapter number 6 of your textbook. When we talk about the author of the chapter, that's Robert W. Peterson, who was born in 1925 and died in 2006 in Pennsylvania. He was an American newspaper writer who later became a freelance author of magazine articles and books, especially on the topics of sports and scouting. His 1970s chronicle of Negro League Baseball titled Only the Ball Was White was hailed by the New York Times as having, having recaptured a lost era in baseball history and a rich facet of black life in America. The baseball commissioner at the time, Bobby Conn, later created or uh, Peterson, Peterson's book with having focused greater attentions on the accomplishment of Negro League players Leading to, their uh, leading to their admission to the Baseball Hall of Fame. And when we talk about the chapter, this is the story of, a, of uh, a scientist, Richard Abright. He has received the Serial Scholar Award and the Searching Plow Award of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. It was his fascination for butterflies uh, that opened the world of the science to him and you can see the picture of Richard Ebright on your screen here. It was his fascination of the butterflies that opened the world of science to him. The story is about Richard uh, H. Ebright who grew up in the town of Reading in Pennsylvania, USA. As he did not have much to do there, Collecting things was his hobby. He used to collect butterflies as a child in the kindergarten. Let's read, let's see through the slides that how he became one of the greatest scientists of the world. So here in this video, we are going to discuss the summary of the chapter, The Making of Scientist. Richard H. Bright. And the name of the chapter is The Making of Scientist by Robert W. Peterson. Richard H. Bright, at the age of 22 stunned the scientific community with the in innovative theory of cells. This article was published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science. For Richard, this success started with butterflies. Richard Bright grew up in Reading, Pennsylvania. As an only, uh, only child, Bright collected things like rocks, fossils, and butterflies to amuse himself. By the second grade, Bright has collected all the 25 species of butterflies found in Reading, and the list of these 25 species of butterflies has been given to you on your screen. And this you can see, uh, see on your uh, reader also, or textbook also. So, Bright's interest in the butterflies might have warned after the 8th grade had it not been for the book the travels of monarch 10. The book charted the migration of monarch butterflies from the United States to Central America. At the end of the book, readers were invited to study butterflies and tag them for research. Inspired by the book, a bride decided to tag his own butterflies. However, the butterfly season is, uh, in Reading was only six weeks which made it difficult for a bride to tag many butterflies. So he decided to breed monarch butterflies in his basement. Then in the seventh grade after, after losing in the country science fair, a bride learned the real science was about experiments rather than displays. His competitive spirit was kindled and he wrote the author of 
the travels of Monarch X, Dr. R.Q. Hart for ideas. In 8th grade, a bride tried to show that a species of beetle was responsible for a viral disease afflicting the monarch caterpillar. Though his project didn't yield tangible result, a bride did win an award for effort. In ninth grade, he tested the theory of butterflies, copy monarch butterflies for the survival. This time he achieved success in the high school. He thought of a simple question that would have life-changing implications for his career. Richard and fellow scientist students worked on a device which would provide the answer to the question. This project gave him a chance to work at Walter Reed Army Institution of Research. It also got him an entry to the International Science and Engineering Fair. He continued working on this project which won him the first prize at the International Fair and gave him a chance to work for the US Department of Agriculture. As the next step in the project, a bright grew cell from the monarch's wings to expand on his theory. Next summer, after completing his first year at Harvard University, Richard went back to the Department of Agriculture. He succeeded in identifying the hormone chemical structure. Following this, he discovered how cells could read their DNA. First, he found the cell, then nucleus, then chromosome in the nucleus and uh, DNA in the chromosomes. Peterson states that, Peterson is who? The author, that if Richard manages to prove his theory, it will uh, revolutionize the understanding of life and life's processes. While working on expanding this theory with his colleague James R. Wong, Albright uh, also graduated from Harvard University. Albright Peterson writes, not only is a gifted scholar but also a debate champion an all-round sport person and expert photographer so he became gifted scholar debate champion all-around sports person and expert photographer while competitive richard was uh, also believes in giving the best effort that he could his scientific curiosity coupled with an intelligent mind and a will to win has given Richard very opportunity to become a brilliant scientist. Peterson believes this combination makes for an extraordinary scientist. So that's all about the summary part. Today uh, in this chapter we have seen the summary that how a bride became the famous scientist and uh, how he discovered many things and after, in the next video we will see we will uh, do the explanation of this chapter line by line till then please study please uh, study the text of your textbook and uh, see this summary part also thank you very much